All right, guys, just like the video title says, we're going to take a look at KEH's UG grade lenses. So this video is getting straight to the point. Uh, no goofy intros or anything like that, just straight to the meat of the matter here. And as you can see, uh, this is a camera box from KEH on the label. It's all sealed. I haven't opened it or anything. You can see a KEH logo on the outside of the box right here. So it's a fully legit shipment. And you guys will see how UG grade comes straight from KEH. Cause I was kind of curious myself. I have never purchased a UG grade lens and uh, I thought this would be a great opportunity to show to you guys out there on YouTube what, what you may get. Let's see what's going on in here. All right, so the box is open. Uh, we got a little label right, oh, geez, okay. I may have to close that because my name's on there, so hopefully it didn't show up in the video, but I will, uh, let's see here, if I can hide that. My name right there, okay, sorry about that. Okay, so what we have here is a Canon 135 F2L USM lens, a Canon 70 to 200, I'm sorry, 70 to 300 F4 5.6 DO lens. And these are both UG grade, which is right there. You guys can see it right there. So this is gonna be very interesting. I really don't know what I'm gonna get. I've got a lot of stuff on the bargain and was pleasantly surprised. So this may actually impress us as well. I, you know, I've, I've owned a few of these lenses over the years, so I know how they operate. So this will be a good opportunity to see what's going on here. And, and don't mind my messy desk. I use this office for many different things. Uh, okay, go ahead and open it up. Be careful there. There's definitely two camera lenses there. Oh, there's that telltale green ring for the diffractive optics lens. Now this is a kind of an interesting lens, so I'm looking forward to trying that. If things work out well, uh, we, maybe we can do a little review or something like that. And uh, wow, this is better than I thought. Well, so far, unless it's full of fungus or something. Okay, this is a UG grade, just aesthetically looking at it. This is a UG grade lens from KEH camera. You can see right here, the finish still looks pretty good. Um, there's some scuffing on the bezel right here, but the bezel is plastic on these lenses. That is pretty normal. Um, so I kind of expected that. And optically, uh, I'm not seeing anything going on in there. I don't see any haze. In there I mean I don't see any haze or any fungus in this lens it looks fantastic I would consider this an EX grade on, on eBay <laughs> it really looks that good the switches work great the AF MF switch uh, let's put it into MF and just see yeah the focus feels really good this does not seem like a beat-up lens at all I am pleasantly surprised okay okay I'm seeing it now okay there's some minor cleaning marks on the front element right here. Just some very scratches, essentially. Some minor cleaning marks on the front element. Nothing on the rear. You're not going to see that in a photo. This is UG grade, guys. I think I paid about $350 for this L lens. 135 F2 L lens. About 300 bucks. That is a substantial deal right there. I'm very happy with what I got. Obviously, I haven't put it on the camera yet, but it should work. Uh, my biggest concern was the optics, but they look really good. Okay, so this is the 70 to 300 DO, and wow, just looking at it from the outside, it also looks very nice. This is UG grade. Uh, the buttons work. Uh huh. Okay, that works good. The focus ring feels good. The zoom is a little bit sticky. Uh, but I've read that about the DO lenses. That's a pretty common thing with them, and I don't think that's really that much of a fault. Uh, oh, there's a little bit of haze. I can see a little bit of haze behind the front element right there. You guys see it right there? Just a tiny little bit of haze. That may or may not affect the image quality. I would be more concerned about the rear elements, which look pretty good. Um, but otherwise, not too bad. So just a slight little bit of haze. And I should be able to remove that front element pretty easily. If my memory serves me right, I think I just take off these screws, pull out the front the front group, and I should be able to clean that little bit of haze right off the lens, no problem. Uh, all in all, I have to say, this is UG grade lenses. Fantastic deal. I'm very happy with what I got, actually. And I will definitely buy UG lenses again. I'm pleasantly surprised. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have any questions... Oh, you know what? Let me cut really quick. I'm going to mount it on a camera. We'll see how they operate. This is my EOS 1DC. Uh, I did not get any caps in this order, but you know, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Ooh, that sits nicely, mounted very well. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, just see if it focuses as well it should. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Oh yeah. I see no issue with this 135. Just a little scratch on the bezel uh, and a couple cleaning marks in the front element. It looks beautiful. Okay, let's try the 70 to 300 DO, which I was very interested in getting. Yeah, you can definitely see that haze. Uh, but does the functions work? That's the question here. Focus is good. Zoom is a little janky, but that's okay. These are known to be that way. Doesn't look like it focuses as close as the 135, um, but it does have a substantial amount of zoom, that's for sure. This would be a great little travel lens. Yeah, so all in all, everything looks like it's working really good. And again, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. Uh, if you have any comments, whatever, let me know what you think. And uh, if we get a lot of views, maybe I'll make some more videos. Thank you very much, guys. See you later.